Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm a Soaholic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, It's So Tanji, or welcome if you're new here. I have a Sunday sewing catch-up for you today and yeah, I will just tell you as almost every Sunday what I have been sewing this week, what I have been buying this week and also what my plans are for the upcoming week. So um, first of all, let me tell you what I'm wearing because most of the time I just forget to tell you. Um, I am wearing the Mona vest top by um, Fiber Mode and it is from their latest issue which is the special number three, the essentials special. And um, yes, as I said, it's the Mona. I can show you the pictures they have in the magazine. I just have to take the pattern out, pattern pieces. Um, it is this one here. They made it in white. And you can also see the line drawings here. It is a super cool, super basic top. Um, made out of a um, sweater knit and I also used a sweater knit. It is fleecy on the inside, so quite a thick fabric, but honestly the perfect top for the temperatures, the spring temperatures we're having um, in Austria right now. So I'm wearing um, jeans on the bottom and then just this on top with a jacket layered on top. And I just think it is the perfect um, spring essential for everybody everybody's wardrobe and i am thinking about making a, another one in maybe a white or maybe a more colorful version i'm not sure but yeah that's what i'm wearing and then on to what i have been sewing this week and um, the piece i was wearing on top of this one is my favorite maker of this week and i think i've only finished one thing this week so it is my favorite because there is only one but let me just grab it so this here is the piece i have finished this week and honestly i am in love with this jacket it is the daphne jacket um and I don't remember what the, the um, pattern company was called. I'm very sorry, but I will link it down below. Below, I found it on the pattern on the fold line. I was just um, searching for a shawl collar jacket and this one came up. It is um, normally it is not lined, but in the instructions at the end, you can find um, a very brief um, very brief instructions of how you would line it um, which is super easy to do to be honest and one of you and I am very sorry I don't remember your name but one of you suggested to use the um, quilted black fabric I got at the stitch festival for lining this tiger and zebra print car fabric which is from Pigeon Wishes and I also got it at the Stitch Festival and um, that is partly what I did. I already made a little chile out of the quilted fabric but there was some leftover and I used this leftover fabric for the lining pieces but only for the two front pieces and then um, I didn't have enough so I bought just some basic um, quilted lining from my local fabric store to use for the back pieces and also for the sleeve pieces and that worked perfectly the front um, lining fabric is a matte black quilted fabric and then the inside fabric is a bit shiny i don't know if you can tell the difference here but honestly, because you can't really see the inside fabric except for the color, I didn't really care. And um, I thought it would be 
perfect and the idea one of you had was great because this is now a much more variable jacket for me for the transitional season because the jacquard fabric alone would have been too lightweight for um, me personally. I think I wouldn't really have gotten a lot of wear out of the piece but as a whole now I think it worked out perfectly. It is a super cool jacket. I added um, patch pockets here in the front and um, the only thing I had to do is shorten the longer version of the jacket slightly because I didn't have enough fabric. I had one and a half meter of the beautiful Shakar fabric and yeah but that was the only thing I had to um, adjust and now I just rolled up the sleeves but normally they would be like this and you wouldn't be able to see the um, quilted fabric on the inside. I will also insert pictures of me wearing it. I took some pictures before and with my all black outfit um, it looks really great and I have to say this quilted fabric um, on the inside makes for a very cozy jacket and the perfect transitional piece. So thank you to whoever it was who suggested um, lining this fabric with a quilted fabric. It was a very, very good idea and it made for a super cool statement jacket and I am in love with this piece now. I think I will definitely wear it a lot with basics underneath um, and just to give it a bit more of a um, fashion statement. Yeah, but that is definitely a sewing win. And then I just remembered there is another Finnish garment I made this week, but it is currently in the wash and I can't show you it. But it is um, the, sorry, what is it called? Elsa? No, Erika t-shirt, also from the latest um, fiber mode issue. And it is a super cool, slightly oversized t-shirt, like this. And mine looks exactly the same. <laughs> I made size XS and I also ordered myself some viscose linen jersey from an Austrian online fabric store and basically made the exact same t-shirt and it looks exactly the same as on her on me. Um, yeah, and I finished that one this week as well. I love it. It's, I just, I love wearing t-shirts in general and this is the perfect basic t-shirt for me. So that was also a win. A win. And that also um, leads me to my only fabric purchase that didn't really happen this week, but last week I'm currently not really buying anything <laughs> because I um, don't have spare money to spend on anything than the necessities, which I really hope um, is, this situation is going to change soon, but it's to do with my job situation. And um, yeah, I, I will definitely tell you about that. <laughs> A bit more in a little live update but um, I'm currently honestly just not in a mood to go into that topic in more depth but I really hope that the whole job situation is um, changing soon but yes last week I bought the viscose linen jersey in white and I already made it up and I also bought it in black from the same store I have one meter of this and I'm going to make the exact same t-shirt in XS just so that I have two nice basic t-shirts in my wardrobe. Not that I don't have basic t-shirts already, but the viscose linen jersey is such a great fabric. I've never worked with viscose linen jersey before, but it is super breathable. It feels very lightweight. It is nice to work with and the mix with the linen gives it this super interesting texture and also as i said it is very very um breathable and good for summer so i will make the same t-shirt out of this one and that's a super quick make so that will definitely happen um next week 
And now I'm a bit all over the place because I just told you what I bought and I just told you what I want to make next week and I didn't even finish talking about my finished mix or makes in progress. And I will jump back to that topic and just show you what I'm working on right now. Right now, I am working on the Marini blouse by Tilly and the Buttons. If you watched my last video, which was the So April Blouse 24 plans video, you will have seen that I plan to make the Marini blouse out of this viscose twill fabric from Rainbow Fabrics, which I also got at the Stitch Festival. And it has these um, Western cowboy boots all over it. And this one will be a horse riding blouse for me. And I'm super excited to finish it and to wear it to the stable next week. And yeah, I started working on it yesterday evening. I am super pleased with how it's coming together. I've made this pattern three times before, so I know it. And I make size one. And um, I will probably work on this um, today and maybe also finish it already today. So this is the Marini. And if you don't know the Marini, I can, you probably do, but this is the Marini blouse by Tilly and the Buttons. And then I just remembered I made one more thing this week. I don't know what is happening to my brain right now, but I seem to forget a lot of things. Um, I made one more thing this week, which is um, a children's garment. And I think I have it here. Yes, I do. I am going to the, I think it is called christening or christening, christening um, of the child of my dad's cousin. I hope that makes sense. So a relative and um, it will be this Sunday. And as a little present, I made the strawberry sweatshirt by Poppy and Chess up. How cute is this? In this beautiful Van Gogh um, cotton jersey that I got from Hazel's sister. And I made the size nine to 12 months. He is four months old, but I just thought he's a bit bigger I think um, for his age and um, I want him to be able to wear this during the cooler days in summer so I think that should work and um, I didn't do the cuffs at the sleeves and also not the hemband because I didn't have enough fabric left over but I um, added this cute little neck band and then I added a little made by Tanya with love here in the back. And yeah, you will get that as a little present. And it is my first children's make. And it was super fun to make this one super fast. And also just because the it's so small, it's just super cute to sew it up. So yeah, I made more than I remembered this week. So. Sorry about the very confusing style of this video. But now on to my plans for the next week. And I hope this is going to be a bit less confusing. As I already said, I want to make the um, jersey, um, linen viscose jersey Erica t-shirt. Is it called the Erica? Yes, it is the Erica by Fiber Mood. And then also, not the most exciting project, to be honest, but I want to finish my pajama set um, that I started a few weeks ago. And um, I want to make the pajama bottoms. And this one is the cotton wall fabric from the new craft house that I want to make the bottoms in. It is a super, super lightweight cotton wall. And I think it will be perfect for spring days. Um, as it is, as I said, super lightweight and perfect for someone that gets hot a lot um, when she sleeps. So yeah, it is also quite a quick make, but it is not the most exciting. So that's why I haven't made it already, I think. But that's on the plans for next week. 
And then also not the most exciting project, but I am planning to release yet another pattern on my cottage core living patterns um, Etsy store, which I will also link down below. And um, I have recently released a new pattern for a quilted bag. And now I finally want to release my first garden pattern. And if you don't know, all my patterns are um, instructions for self-drafting the patterns, except for one which where you really get a pattern piece and that's for the coasters. But um, for the tiered skirt, it is a ruffle tiered skirt. I made this one before and I will insert a picture here so that you know what I'm talking about. But um, lots of you, when I asked on YouTube, lots of you said that you would be interested in a pattern for this one um, and instructions on how to draft it yourself. And I would really like to um, yeah, work on that project next week, basically, so that I can release another pattern on cottage core living patterns. And um, I thought I would make that skirt out of this gingham fabric. First, I plan to make it an indigo dress by Tiliente Buttons out of this one. But now I'm not so sure about that anymore because I realized I have a lot of spring dresses and um, I really love wearing my black and white gingham skirt. And so I thought just a bit more, um, a skirt that is a bit more colorful with a basic black tee or also one of the colors that um, in the fabric would be really cool and um, I definitely have enough fabric to make it and so that's what I thought that I will write the um, pattern instructions and then we'll make up the skirt in this fabric and I will um, photograph all the instructions for the skirt with this while making the skirt in this fabric so if you don't know, all of my patterns have very detailed pictures um, for every step of making the garment or the bag. And I photograph all the steps. So this will probably be the fabric that I make the skirt, the tester skirt out of. I mean, it's not the tester skirt. I made it before, but um, I think you know what I mean. And that is also one of the plans for next week to really intensively um, work on this skirt project and on um, getting the pattern together and it is a lot of work to release a pattern so i will probably not finish that project next week um, i'm sure that there are lots of things that come up that i want to do before i work on this one but at least um, i have it in my um, on my to-do list and i really would like to start at least. But yes, I think that's everything I wanted to talk to you about. Sorry again for the messy style of this video. I'm just um, at the moment, I'm just very, my, my brain and my thinking is quite all over the place and a bit messy at the moment. So please excuse that. Um, I hope that it made sense anyway. And I think you could just hear Nero, my cat, meowing. <laughs> Um, but I hope you had a great weekend, I hope you had lots of time for sewing and I wish you a great start to the new week tomorrow. Take care guys, bye!